Have you ever wondered how the United States as we know it today came into existence? Picture a time long before the arrival of Europeans when the vast expanse of North America was home to diverse Native American tribes. From the Iroquoian in the Northeast Woodlands, the Sioux on the Great Plains, to the Navajo in the Southwest Deserts, these vibrant cultures thrived, each with their unique customs, languages, and ways of life. The landscape of this continent began to shift in the late 15th century with the arrival of European explorers. They sought new routes, resources, and opportunities, but their arrival marked the beginning of a tumultuous period for the indigenous people. The English were among the latecomers in the race for colonization, their first attempt being the ill-fated Roanoke Colony, remembered as the Lost Colony. Yet their determination was unwavering. It was in 1607 that they established Jamestown in present-day Virginia, the first permanent English settlement in the New World. The harsh realities of the New World tested the resolve of these early settlers. They grappled with unfamiliar diseases, harsh winters, and strained relations with native tribes. Yet through resilience and adaptation, they persevered, paving the way for more to follow. By the end of the 17th century, England had 13 colonies along the eastern seaboard. From Massachusetts in the north to Georgia in the south, these colonies, though diverse in their economies and cultures, shared a common bond. They were English subjects in a world far removed from their homeland. The seeds of self-governance were sown in these colonies. They formed their local assemblies and courts, taking the first steps towards autonomy. Yet, they remained under the watchful eye of the English crown, which would in time tighten its grip, sparking discontent among the colonists. Thus, the stage was set for a revolution that would change the course of history. In a world dominated by monarchies, how did the concept of a democratic republic take root? The answer lies in the tumultuous period of the late 18th century, when 13 British colonies in North America began to question and ultimately reject the authority of their distant king. In the heart of this revolution, we find a group of remarkable individuals. These founding fathers, as we now call them, were intellectuals, politicians, and soldiers who dared to imagine a new kind of nation. Men like Thomas Jefferson, Benjamin Franklin, and George Washington, who believed in the radical idea of a government not by the monarch, but by the people. It was Thomas Jefferson who penned the Declaration of Independence in 1776. This historic document boldly asserted the colony's right to self-governance and famously declared that all men are created equal with unalienable rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. But declaring independence was just the first step. The Founding Fathers knew they needed to forge a system of governance that could keep this fledgling nation united. And so they embarked on the monumental task of drafting the Constitution, a document that would serve as the nation's legal and moral compass for centuries to come. The Constitution was a daring experiment in democracy. It proposed a system of government divided into three branches, the executive, the legislative, and the judicial, each with its own powers and responsibilities to ensure a balance of power. It also included the Revolutionary Bill of Rights, which guaranteed individual freedoms such as free speech, freedom of religion, and protection from unreasonable searches and seizures. This was a new kind of nation, a democratic republic where the power rested not with a king, but with the people. A nation built on the ideals of liberty, equality, and justice. A nation that despite its flaws and challenges, has strived to uphold these principles throughout its history. And so, the United States of America was born, a beacon of hope in an uncertain world. What happens when a young nation begins to stretch its wings? As America grew, so did its ambitions. The early 19th century marked a period of intense expansion, fueled by a belief in manifest destiny. This was the conviction that American settlers were destined, by God no less, to expand their dominion and spread democracy and capitalism across the entire continent. The pioneers journeyed westward, driven by dreams of prosperity and the allure of new frontiers. But this westward march wasn't without conflict. The land wasn't unoccupied. Native American tribes rich in culture and history had been living on this land for centuries. As settlers moved in, tensions escalated, leading to a series of tragic conflicts and forced relocations that remain a dark chapter in the nation's history. 
And there was another conflict brewing in the South. An economic system had taken root, one that was built on the institution of slavery. The Southern states with their agriculture-based economies relied heavily on this system. Cotton, tobacco, and rice plantations flourished, generating immense wealth, but at a tremendous human cost. In stark contrast, the northern states were rapidly industrializing and the need for such a system was less pronounced. The institution of slavery thus not only caused immeasurable suffering and injustice, but also drove a wedge between the north and the south. Debates over the morality of slavery and its expansion into new territories intensified, straining the bonds that held the nation together. But the nation's leaders struggled to find a compromise. The question of whether new states would be free or slaveholding became a contentious issue. Each new state's entry threatened to upset the delicate balance of power in Congress, and with it, the fragile peace that had been maintained. And so, the United States, a young nation full of promise, found itself on the brink of a precipice. The tensions over expansion and slavery were not just cracks in the foundation, they were deep, seismic faults that threatened to tear the nation apart. These growing pains would soon erupt into a devastating civil war. How does a nation heal after being torn apart by conflict? This is a question America had to confront head on in the aftermath of the Civil War. The Civil War was a cataclysmic event, a bitter struggle between the North and the South, driven by deep-seated disagreements over slavery and states' rights. It was the bloodiest conflict in American history with over 600,000 lives lost. The Emancipation Proclamation issued by President Abraham Lincoln in 1862 declared that all enslaved people in the Confederate-held territory were to be set free. This was a monumental step, but it was just the beginning of a long and arduous journey towards equality. Following the war, the nation entered a period known as Reconstruction, a time of rebuilding but also of struggle and conflict. It was during this era that the 14th and 15th Amendments were added to the Constitution, granting citizenship and voting rights to African Americans. However, the path to true equality was far from smooth. African Americans in the South faced severe restrictions and discrimination. The rise of Jim Crow laws enforced racial segregation, while the Ku Klux Klan instigated a reign of terror against African Americans and their white allies. Despite the promise of freedom and equality, the reality was often bleak. Yet in this struggle, a legacy was forged. The fight for civil rights became a defining part of America's identity, shaping the nation and inspiring future generations. The Civil War and Reconstruction era were not just about division and conflict, but also about resilience, courage, and the relentless pursuit of justice. These events have left an indelible mark on America. They have reminded us of the cost of freedom, the importance of unity, and the enduring power of the human spirit. They have taught us that even in the face of great adversity, a nation can heal, grow, and strive towards a better future. But even as the nation healed, new challenges and opportunities on the global stage awaited. How did a once isolated nation become a global superpower? Let's delve into this intriguing question. As the 19th century rolled in, America was on the cusp of a significant transformation. The Industrial Revolution, a period of rapid industrial growth, changed the face of the nation. Factories sprouted like mushrooms across the landscape, churning out goods at an unprecedented rate. The steel and railroad industries boomed, giving rise to big businesses and magnates who would shape the economic future of the country. Parallel to this industrial boom, the nation was also experiencing waves of immigration. People from across the globe seeking better lives and opportunities poured into America. These immigrants brought with them their culture, their dreams, and their labor, contributing significantly to the country's economic and cultural fabric. As the 20th century dawned, America found itself in the throes of global conflicts. The world wars were a turning point, drawing the United States out of its isolation and thrusting it onto the world stage. The nation's industrial might and military prowess were on full display, leading to its emergence as a global superpower. Yet, even as the nation stood tall on the global stage, it was grappling with internal challenges. The Great Depression of the 1930s was a stark reminder of the nation's economic vulnerabilities. However, true to its spirit of resilience and innovation, America bounced back, instituting sweeping economic reforms and social safety nets. 
The aftermath of the World Wars and the recovery from the Great Depression marked America's rise as a global superpower. Its economic prowess, military strength, and cultural influence were felt around the world. Yet, as the nation basked in its newfound global prominence, it was also grappling with ongoing struggles for equality and justice within its borders. The United States had emerged as a leading global force, but the struggle for equality at home continued. As we move forward, we'll delve deeper into these struggles and the ongoing journey towards a more equitable America. Stay tuned as we venture further into the modern era and beyond. What does it mean to ensure liberty and justice for all? This question asked time and again has been the driving force behind many of America's most profound social movements. The civil rights movement of the mid 20th century, for instance, sought to dismantle systemic racial discrimination. This was a time when individuals like Rosa Parks and Martin Luther King Jr. rose to prominence, their words and actions echoing through the ages. It was a time of struggle and strife, but also of profound change. Landmark laws such as the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and the Voting Rights Act of 1965 were enacted, banning racial discrimination in public places and ensuring equal voting rights for all, respectively. Simultaneously, the fight for women's rights gained momentum. The women's suffrage movement of the early 20th century had won women the right to vote, but true equality was still a distant dream. The second wave of feminism emerged in the 1960s and 70s, targeting a broad range of issues from workplace discrimination to reproductive rights. The passing of the Equal Pay Act in 1963 was a significant victory, but the fight continues even today. And let's not forget the other key social movements that have shaped America's struggle for equality. There was the American Indian movement that sought to address issues of sovereignty and cultural preservation. The gay rights movement battled for recognition and equal rights, leading to historic court decisions like the Obergefell v. Hodges case in 2015 that recognized same-sex marriage nationwide. These movements, these struggles, they all underscore America's ongoing journey towards liberty and justice for all. They remind us that equality is not a destination but a continuous pursuit, a commitment to challenge and change the status quo. But it's not just about the past. The struggle for equality continues today in every corner of our society. Every voice that rises against injustice, every law that seeks to level the playing field is a step forward in this journey. As the nation strived for equality, it also faced new challenges in a rapidly changing world. Where does the United States stand today on the world stage? As we move further into the 21st century, the United States stands as a beacon of technological advancement. Silicon Valley continues to be the global epicenter for tech innovation, birthing cutting-edge ideas and products that shape our daily lives. From self-driving cars to artificial intelligence, the nation's tech prowess is undeniable. Yet these advancements aren't without their challenges. Environmental issues have taken center stage in recent years. The United States grapples with climate change, pollution, and conservation efforts, striving to balance economic growth with sustainable practices. This struggle is a testament to the nation's commitment to safeguarding our planet for future generations. In the political realm, the United States remains a key player on the global stage. The nation's decisions and policies often have ripple effects across the world influencing everything from international relations to global markets. Despite the occasional turbulence, it's a role that the United States has grown into over the centuries, highlighting its influence and responsibilities. Social issues, too, continue to shape the nation's narrative. Movements for racial justice, gender equality, and LGBTQ rights have gained momentum, reflecting the country's ongoing pursuit of liberty and justice for all. These movements are a reminder of the nation's founding ideals and its continuous strive to uphold them. The United States is also a melting pot of cultures, a vibrant tapestry of diverse peoples and traditions. This cultural mosaic is a testament to the country's rich history of immigration and its ongoing commitment to inclusivity. In the realm of arts and entertainment, the United States continues to dominate. Hollywood remains the heart of the global film industry, while American music, literature, and visual arts shape global trends and conversations. Today, the United States continues to evolve, shaped by its past and looking towards the future. The nation's journey is far from over. 
Each day brings new challenges and opportunities, molding the United States into a nation that is ever-changing, ever-growing, and ever-striving for a better tomorrow. Our journey through America's history brings us here to the present day. We've embarked on a voyage through time, from the early dawn of a new land, through the birth of a nation, to the expansion and conflict that shaped its character. We've walked through the tumult of a nation divided and into the modern era, witnessing the relentless struggle for equality. We find ourselves in today's America, a nation molded by its past, standing tall as a global superpower. It is a complex tapestry woven from the threads of countless stories, battles, triumphs, and tragedies, a nation forged in the crucible of time by the will and spirit of its people. Its history is a chronicle of dreams realized and challenges overcome. It's a narrative that continues to evolve, shaped by the actions of its people and their enduring pursuit of liberty and justice. Indeed, the history of America is a testament to the power of ideas, the resilience of its people, and the enduring promise of liberty and justice for all.